Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult and since 2003, we have actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So we actually started this YouTube channel so that we can help more people use their accounting systems more effectively. And if you like what we are doing today, do like and subscribe to support us. Alright, so in today's video, we will be looking at a question our client recently have asked us. Alright, what happens if I have received customer deposits and then how can I track it as well as once I already generate my invoice, how can I knock it off, all right? So before we can actually even begin, the first thing that you need to do is you have to make sure your child accounts is set up. So you can either come to your maintain child accounts here, account maintenance, click here. So we scroll down and let's say for example, if this is a customer deposits, we will always recommend you to put it under the current liability, all right? So what happens is we select current liabilities, the header here. We cannot use a normal account. We need to use this one, bank, cash, or deposit account. All right, press here. And here we will select this is a deposit type. And for this example, let's say we see what account codes available. For 450-1010, okay. And we can put this as this is a customer deposit, okay. So once we're done, we just press save, all right? And we have already created our customer deposit SDP, all right? So let's say for example, today now your customer makes a payment for a deposit. All you just need to do is come here to AR, come here to AR deposit entry, click here. And let's say we press new to create a new deposit, all right? So let's say we create a deposit account. We come to this one called customer deposit. Next, we will select which customer. So let's say example, I want to use ABC company making a deposit to me. All right. So what happens is from here, we can select where this money is going to go to. So most of the time, let's say we go into my bank account. We put in the IBG number or reference number and we can put in how much deposit they have paid us. So let's say we pay 5,000 deposit on this date. All right. So once we're done, we press save. So now ABC has a deposit of $5,000 with us. So here shows uh, outstanding $5,000 means this deposit hasn't been utilized yet. Okay, so let's just cross check and make sure uh, AR invoice in for this customer, ABC, we have some invoices. Looks like we do not have. Okay, let's say we create a new invoice here. We select ABC and company. And then from here, we will just create a sales account code. sales and then we put maybe this is a $3,000 invoice all right so save okay so now let's say we already created the invoice and now we want to knock off the deposit right using the deposit to knock off that amount so all we just need to do is we come here to AR payment we select ABC company ABC all right so once we select ABC company, we can select our payment method. Say example, we use customer deposit. Straight away, the system will come out a new screen and they'll ask you, okay, now currently you got 5,000 deposit with me. Let's say I want to utilize now, press okay. But my invoice only for 3,000, right? So what happens is you can manually change this amount to $3,000 and press save, all right? So let's say for example, now I want to cross check and make sure how much deposit I have left. You can come here, we can right click here, and we can see ABC deposit 5,000 balance of the deposit. I still left $2,000. All right. So this is actually how easy you can manage your customer deposit inside AutoCount. If you have any topic you would like us to cover in the future, do leave a comment below. Thanks.